Alrighty, welcome back to Weenie Trades. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving a quick day trading recap and just a quick earnings recap. It was an explosive day today. I woke up and I told Bryce, I was like, oh, it's probably gonna be a pretty good day today. I was expecting some pretty good P&Ls because of the moves and scenarios that we had in the overall market today. And we were really able to capitalize today. I'm talking, gonna to be talking about Google, AMD, and just a little bit of losing trades and how they, some were good, some I kind of played a little bit better. And then I'm just gonna be talking quickly about Facebook and PayPal earnings. So let's get right into the video. Let's talk about AMD. AMD had amazing earnings, and I was talking about this cup and handle formation on the daily time frame. Can you see it over here? So right here, we're starting to make higher lows, and we've got this nice good flat top resistance. You know, I'll call it from 95 all the way up to 99. Well, this is a nice good cup and handle formation. We're pu pulling up, and we start to pull the cup, Okay, we should start to break out. And especially if we got the good earnings announcement and we've got the nice good high volume, I'm expecting some pretty good volatility today. Well, if I just click, the, click this uh, show trades feature right over here and we just uh, you know tried to uh, adapt it to this you know, right over here. So I tried to grab a little bit of shares of AMD in the pre-market because I'm ex expecting that move through the high of the day over 94. And if you recall yesterday's video, I said that 90 was probably about that flush point. Well, AMD spiked that 90 and then came right back up. But let's just look at these trades first thing in the morning. I'm trying to buy. I'm buying down here. We're getting a good move, but then we're starting to roll over. As soon as we start to roll over, quick, I quick stop out. Stop loss. Boom, minus $41. Well, that's okay because... That they're just clearing out the shorts, you know, they're clearing out all the buyers, you know, like all the short sellers are getting their profits. But I know based off of expected move that AMD was expected to go to up to about 96, 97 today based off the options chain. And that just has to do with, you know, what's expected for the earnings release. And AMD did really well. And the debit spread for the week was able to, you know, dampen some of that PL and we were able to get some really good profits on that AMD, you know, buying the 93 strike call, selling the 96 strike call. So at first, AMD cleared out all the shorts, but then we started to really start to rebound. Nice good V bottom, you know, into a bull flag. I would have liked to have traded it later in the day, but I was trading Google, which I'll go over in just a bit. So AMD looking for new all-time highs. If we look at the Robinhood portfolio, you know, I've got this AMD 100 slash 105 debit spread. That's a little bit aggressive. I've already made this trade a little bit free right now. So AMD looking to hold into continuation for those all-time highs. I've got some leap spreads and I've just been talking about AMD over and over again, how it's a great growth semiconductor stock for the future. So I'm super excited to follow up with AMD. Got tons of leap spreads and leap options if we just look over here. And then even this one, the AMD 155 strike call. I think AMD can probably be a $200 stock by the time of June next year. So super excited to follow up with AMD. Let's get into Google. Next up we've got is Google and Google is an amazing day trade today. And just a real quick note, if you're a YouTuber, just know that I respect you. And uh, if, if I've tr been trying to reach out to you and you're, you know, if and you need to know, know about, more about me, that's completely fine. Take as much time as you need. And for those of you that's re that have reached out to me for business opportunities, thank you. I look forward to potentially working with you. If not, just know that I really um, love be just day trading each and every day and being a small time YouTuber, just kind of hanging out. So be sure to hit the like button for the small YouTubers. Let's get right into the next trading recap. Let's talk about Google. Google, I said, I really like, I wanted to get long right off the open. And I sure did. I bought Google off the open and then took just a little bit of profits, barely any, but didn't get uh, much out. Tried to add on this dip looking for a continuation and we didn't get that continuation. Boom, quick stop out. Minus like $150, that's off the open. That's okay because I can always get back in. I know that Google had a strong report and I'm looking to buy it yet again. Well, right here, we got a low right here so you can mark that low. We make another low and then we start to curl up as we start to curl up, I can buy Google right here, buy Google, 20 shares just to be exact. I mean, the size doesn't really matter. Everybody's got different position sizes, whatever it may be. A call option probably would have been of the better scenario in that move, but with call options, the spreads are even wider than a, and it's tougher to manage risk with, uh, with, with, with options than it is with shares. But anyways, I'm buying Google, 20 shares right there, putting my stop loss, just beneath that low, and then boom, just peel profits, peel profits, peel profits, peel profits, 
you know, pay, t taking profits as Google starts to exponentially push higher. And Google was a nice good revenue trade, getting most of my shares out and some vertical spreads. So as you can see, I had the 2670 call and then selling the 2770 call. What this did was I was able to spend something like $200 and I was able to turn that $200 into $420. That's an awesome return just on an intraday basis. So I was able to just take those profits as Google started to roll over and it was unable to break this pre-market high. And the reason why I was able to take those profits off was because, you know, I've got, I've got leap Google options. I've got leap Google spreads, whatever it may be. If you just want to pause and check out the, the, the Robinhood portfolio, most of this portfolio is just leap options. And it's just, it was just, a, it was just a really kicking day today. More, more than I expected to be, but also I had planned for it just a little bit. So the first trade was a stop out, but the second trade was money, you know, just, and just even grabbing some dips and taking some profits off up there. But, you know, think about it that, 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 uh, that tight stop loss, buying Google right there, putting my stop loss underneath the lows. The risk to reward was definitely in my favor for Google today. Next up, I'm just going to briefly touch on some of my losing trades today. Let's talk about, or actually Boeing was a winning trade, but I just feel like it was a losing trade, even though I was able to come away with a little bit of profit. I was able to, I said I was looking for a Boeing short, and that was due to the expected move. I said the expected move on Boeing was probably up to about 236. Well, as soon as Boeing's starting to get past 236, and then it's starting to sell off, boom, I can sell right there, sell, and put my stop loss above the highs, take profits on this bottom candle. But what I did, my mistake was I tried to get a little bit greedy and tried to short a little bit more and just barely stopped out. So, you know, at one point, you know, $240 profit on Boeing, but ended up with $100. I feel like it's a losing trade, even though overall I came up with a winning trade. Boeing did end up fading for the rest of the day. So that was kind of a scenario where, oh, this, the stop loss was just a little bit too tight. But let's go to TDOC, Teladoc. And this was a scenario where I thought it was a really good risk to reward to short. You know, first of all, TDOC on the daily time frame were oversold and we had gapped into support. Whenever you gap into support, you generally don't want to be shorting, at least underneath the lows, because you're gapping into support, short sellers are looking to take profits and buyers are looking to get a good deal. And boom, we can get a nice good bounce. So TDOC, Teladoc had a nice good rally off those lows. And I felt, ah, huh, we're already, um, you know, we're already about 6% off the lows. I felt that it was a good risk to reward to short, and it was a good risk to reward to short. I have no regrets about this trade. I sold TDOC, sell right there with the stop loss above the highs. Boom, sold, couldn't get any follow through. Boom, we rip, take my stop loss. Boom, quick little stop out on TDOC. Oh, well, you know, it happens. You know, nice, good, you know, nice, nice, good trade. Even though it was a losing trade, it just tends to happen. Let's get right into the Facebook earnings. Facebook earnings, nice good dip. I said 356 was probably a good dip buy, and it was. Boom, you get a nice good little 2% bounce off of that green line or that red line. If we look at the hourly time frame, that just has to do with this uh, uh, prior pivot. So as you can see, high, high. Okay, we break above it. Now that we're coming back into it, should be a little bit of support. Also, the expected move on Facebook was about 18 I think it was like 18 to $20. Boom, so subtract $20 from the high. That means you should get some sort of a bounce once you've come through the expected move to the downside. So Facebook, I'm actually probably going to be looking for a short trade on Facebook. Anything underneath three, you know, 366 is a short to me on Facebook looking for lower prices. The stop loss probably above 367.50. So keeping an eye on Facebook for a short trade. And then while also looking for a dip buy on PYPL, PayPal. PayPal, I love FinTech, financial technology. Uh, PayPal, nice good move. Here's our prior support. I'll just extend this to the right. Boom, we start to sell off into that support. If we look at the smaller term time frame. boom, we find some support right there. We rally off that level, nice good 3%. If PayPal comes, you know, probably into 269, I think it's the dip buy. Otherwise, you know, PayPal, uh, maybe I don't trade it. Anyways, nice good trading day today. If you're a YouTuber, just know I respect you. Just know that I respect each and every human being on this planet. And um, don't get wrapped in your ego. With that being said, thanks for tuning in. See ya. Bye-bye. Hit the like button. See you tomorrow.